One of the things, I mean, you guys have heard this a few times already about Jeet Kune Do is, is being adaptable. Is being able to work in any distance, in any range, and being effective no matter what the opponent you have is doing. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to use those things we've already done, those, those three basic things with the footwork, uh, the kicking, and, and, the, uh, and the lead hand, and we're going to bridge the gap and we're going to work on the inside. The smarter fighters, we're able to take what they're giving us and really use it against them to our benefit, right? The angles, the footwork is so minute when you're inside, but it's there, the shifting of the weight. What we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of his attack or his advance. Now, he doesn't have to kick or throw a punch or do anything to make it my advantage. As soon as he, but, as soon as he comes inside the fighting measure, he can, he's going to pay taxes. I can make him pay taxes. <laughs> but I mean, but I know that from here to here, from his hip to his foot on the ground, out to here, is his fighting measure. I know that if he's out there, I'm in no man's land, I'm good to go. I'm safe. As soon as he bridges that gap, bridges the gap, we, we have something to work with here. He's not punching, he's not kicking, he's not doing anything for bridging this gap. But I have an opportunity now. Inside, as soon as he comes here, I'm going to attack the inside of the leg. Boom. Now, you know, uh, you see a lot of guys that want to attack here. That's great. They want to hit the, the privates. That's great, but we need training partners, right? <laughs> you know, you, hit, you, start, you start playing with this, and you go one inch the wrong way, he's out for six months. When you step in, when he steps in, He's bridging part of the gap, and I'm using his his energy coming forward, and my pendulum forward, boom. And then when I land here, we got we're gonna we're gonna do some work here. Before my lead leg hits the ground, I want all my energy going through that first punch. So lead hand. This is what I'm doing already. I want to be more efficient with what I've been getting. He steps in, boom, boom. Okay. As soon as this foot hits, this, this punch lands, and this foot hits, I'm coming with my rear hand. What I don't want to do is this. I don't want to leave my back foot behind. If I leave my back foot behind, I'm looking in front of my knee, and we got problems. Especially since I want to work on the inside. Across, whenever you're throwing across, you're fighting. Whenever, especially when you're inside, you got to be careful because you can be counted. Probably not going to play dead for you. And another thing we're going to do is the next part of this drill is going to be just that. He's going to swing a hook. You know, so, so a lot of the combos that I like to do, especially work on the inside, it forces you to make kick, take care of your chin and to come straight back. He steps in, I pedal him in, one, two. When I bring my fist back, it needs to come back as fast as I bring it out. The longer I stay connected here, the more my energy is going to come back to my arm. I'm not going to get a backlash this way. I want to have about three inches deep, but I want to bring it back fast. Not back like this, back on the same line. Bam! Come in here, back back. Be careful again, your chin, and bring your hand back. <laughs> Boom, one, two. Now, if I lock him out, great. Most of the time, he's gonna have a fighter, and he's gonna hook. It's just natural, it's just natural reaction. It's a strong hand. He's, been, he's feeling like he's in trouble. He's already got to hit twice. And you catch him here coming this way. Oh. That hand's going to come down. He's going to be right here. You got two at a time. Boom. Now he's not going to know what to do. Or corkscrew. Okay. I'm in here. I want my body, my, my waist to come first. I want my hips to initiate the rotation. My hand almost almost comes from my chin and just stays there as my body comes around. Right? I want to make sure that I'm switching my my, uh, my body weight from the front foot to the back foot. My back foot and my front foot are both rotating and I'm coming here. So as I come here, boom. If, if it's the last punch or the body weave either one, as I come around, bam. Two, and this is the one where people are messing up. They're doing, they're, they're a little bit too wide on the arm. Or your hands overtaking the hip. You gotta let the hip, you gotta let the hip start the inertia first. Change the body weight. Yeah. So if I'm here, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Two, 
when you're touching here, it's almost touch touch, because that makes you forces you not to be able to drop your rear hand. So you touch touch in here. Okay. What kind of